Hey, Neil. Hey, How are you? I am doing very well. Wait a minute, Neil. You look a little grayer than last time, man. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm here today with the new book from multi-award winning, best-selling author Neil Shusterman re reveals the hearts of two teens who are forced to live in desperate circumstances. Good morning, Neil. How are you? Good morning. I am doing well. That's great. Tell us about your new book, Break to You. I see it behind you there. I've got it back here. <laughs> I got another copy right here. Yeah, there we go. We all got it going on. <laughs> Let's yeah. talk about your book. Break to You is about uh, two teenagers who were in the juvenile detention system. There's Adriana, and she writes a journal. And uh, in her journal, she puts all her deepest personal thoughts. Now, the boys and the girls never get to see each other in the detention center, completely separate wings, but they share facilities. I mean, you know, the yard and the, the cafeteria and the library, although never at the same time. Well, Adriana accidentally leaves her journal in the library, and when she comes back to get it two days later, she finds that a boy has commented on all of her deep personal thoughts. So, of course, she's furious, but the only way to connect with him is through the journal. So she writes back to him. And eventually they start going back and forth with this journal and they fall in love, even though they've never met each other. They know each other's hearts through the journal. Neil, that almost sounds like a good screenplay. Yes, and it's actually uh, been optioned by Temple Hill Productions for development as a as a feature. So we're very excited about that. Man, okay, I was just saying, but yeah, that sounds like good. Where did this idea come from? The inspiration for this book and and the story behind it. Well, you know, I've visited juvenile detention centers and met with a lot of these kids, and you know, unfortunately, the juvenile detention system in the US is pretty broken. And kids can go in there and end up being institutionalized. And I'm at and on these kids who are really just kids. You know, when I speak at a detention center, after a while you forget, that's where you are. Uh, and I, I just wanted to, to sort of shine a light on the situation and give some attention to these kids. And so I got together with two friends of mine, Michelle Nolden and Deborah Young, who co-wrote the book with me, and we developed this story together. What was the most common thing you saw about the kids in these detention centers? You know, the thing that impressed me most was the fact that, I, you know, I would go speaking to them about the various books, uh, and they had read the books that I was talking about, and they had questions, really great questions about them. Uh, and it, it was really great to connect with them on that level. Wow. Um, so what is next after this book? Any more thoughts on any other subjects that we may be looking at? Well, after Break to You, uh, I have a book that's going to be coming out in February called All Better Now. And it is uh, a, a pandemic story, but not about COVID. We've already been there. We don't need to go back there again. Right. This is about the next, the next pandemic which is very different because it's about uh, a pandemic that is a feel-good pandemic. When you, when you recover from it, you feel great, and, uh, and all of your problems have been solved. So people actually want to start catching it. So it's sort of an anti-pandemic story. And so that's coming out in February. That's, uh, that's called All Better Now. And Break to You just came out uh, this week, and I'm very excited about getting on the road and uh, doing a whole bunch of book signings, and I'm visiting juvenile detention centers as part of the tour for Break to You. Also, my next question is, is Kansas City and St. Louis on the tour? Oh, not this time. Not this time, but hopefully coming up. Okay. So as you were growing up, I got a question for you, man. As you were growing up, Neil, these kids wound up in juvenile centers. But you and I, here we are, grown men, so did your mom ever give you that look or your dad give you that look when you were doing bad? You know that look I'm talking about. I know that look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who has not gotten that look? <laughs> you know, what's interesting. I just finished doing Shaquille O'Neal's mom and Stephen Curry's mom, and I asked that question. Did you give your boys that look? And, of course, Miss O'Neal said, I didn't have to say a word. He knew. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, I've been speaking with multi-award winning best-selling author Neil Shusterman talking about his new book, Break to You. Besides your tour, where can we pick up the book? Uh, you can get it anywhere. You can get it at uh, independent bookstores. You can get it at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, anywhere that they sell books. Wow. Neil, thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend. Uh, it was interesting to talk to you about this particular book because I know a couple of guys I have coffee with in the morning. Uh, one of us actually was has retired from working in a juvenile center. And this last guy, he quit. He wanted to stay, but he quit because he was attacked by one of the juveniles. And he didn't like that at all. So, Oh, tough situation. Tough situation. Neil, thank you so much. I'm looking for the screenplay. I'm looking for it to hit the screen by 2025, 2026. I'm waiting on that. All right. We'll try to get it there. <laughs> okay. Thanks again, Neil. You're very welcome.